G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today from Clare in the Clare Valley of South Australia, which is north of Adelaide, South Australia. Alongside me is ex-professional cyclist, Patrick Yonker. He's gonna give me a first-hand tour of the Clare Cycling Classic, namely the Dirty Clare, which is a gravel event. I'm gonna turn the camera around to Patrick and get his insight into the event. Here we are at the Clare Valley. We're about to ride uh, the Clare Dirty Gravel Ride, 80 kilometres, uh, 1,000 metres of vertical ascension around the Spring Gully um, to Hoylton and then back around uh, to um, the Riesling Trail where we finish our uh, 80 kilometres. So I hope you enjoy uh, today's ride with us and we'll give you updates along the way. The ride sets out from the Clare Town Oval and quickly makes its way out of town where it doesn't take long before you're climbing. A few kilometres of bitumen is traversed before you cross onto gravel for most of the route. 80 kilometres or 50 miles doesn't sound like much, but this is a challenging route with something for everyone. We rode this course in early January of 2020 during the peak of the Aussie summer but you can expect cooler temperatures and likely more greenery than we saw during our pre-ride. Pat was kind enough to take it easy on me during the pre-ride and as I mentioned earlier, he is a former professional cyclist who has placed highly in events such as the Tour de France and won the overall at the Tour Down Under and the Route de Sud. Barring a local or two, you're likely to see no vehicles on this route but more than likely Aussie wildlife such as kangaroos. For those who may be wondering, I'm riding 700C by 38mm Panaresa Gravel King tyres in this video, whilst Pat is riding narrower cyclocross Pacific tyres. However, the organisers of this event have chosen roads that can be traversed riding 28mm or 30mm tyres. Because there's a decent amount of climbing on the course, I would not skimp on gearing. I rode a 4831 2x Shimano GRX Di2 setup with an 11 to 32 cassette and was toting a drone around on my back. You may not need gearing as low as that, but there are several 8 to 10% grades in places. Pat makes the climbing look all too easy, but I promise you, you'll be looking forward to the aid station located in the historic town of Hoylton. For those who don't know, the Clare Valley is one of Australia's notable wine growing regions. Here we are at the Hoylton pub. 
beautiful Holton, Hoylton Hotel. This is where the base station will be during the dirty, clear gravel classic, uh, a touch after 54 kilometers. So you will have drinks, hydration, food, everything. Pat and I made the journey back towards Clare and eventually found ourselves on the Riesling Trail, which is part of the former railway line that used to run through the Clare Valley. The trail ends close to the start of the ride, where riders will return to the Clare Valley Oval. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.